Every day, people die because they can't get an organ transplant. More than 14,000 people, in fact, across the United States are on a waiting list right now for a liver transplant. Nearly 200 are right here in Virginia. 10 News anchor Jenna Zipton talked with a local student who was one day from death without a donor. One week, that's all it took for Bethany Sandone's life to change forever. It was a miracle, seriously. The Virginia Tech student worked on a project on a Monday night and then started feeling sick. Wednesday came around, I started to feel nauseous, thought maybe I had the stomach bug. Thursday, her roommates took her to Lewis Gale Hospital Montgomery, where they ran tests for alcohol and drugs. She knew that wasn't what it was. The last thing she remembers, being put into a helicopter to be flown to VCU Health in Richmond. It was obvious that she was in some very deep trouble. She had uh, something called acute liver failure. We only see maybe two or 3,000 cases in the, the nation per year, but it has a, a terrible um, mortality. I mean, 25% get transplanted and a third of patients actually don't make it. Without a liver transplant, she's not gonna make it. And the question in these cases is how quickly an organ offer can come through. Uh, because if you wait too long and the patient gets any infection or, or doesn't do well in terms of brain swelling, then it can be too late. Her liver was failing and Bethany was one day from death without an organ donor. It doesn't feel real sometimes because I am so healthy and everything's so normal. It's been more than a year since the life-saving surgery, a year of days in the hospital and a year away from Virginia Tech. Scars had to heal. So yeah, these are the staples, the little dots. She took 40 pills a day to make sure her body didn't reject the new liver. It was a struggle to take all of these. Now she's down to five pills every morning and night for the rest of her life. She's back in school, on track to graduate in December, and writing a letter to her donor's family to thank them. Thinking about everything she's been through is emotional. Like every emotion just floods back. It's like you're scared and then you're like so happy and then it's just... Ah, <laughs> I don't know, it's a lot. A single organ, eye, or tissue donor can save the life or help heal more than 75 people. But 22 people die every day because the organ they need isn't available. And we still have a lot to do. Um, in the state of Virginia, about 40% of the people are not on the registry. Robbie Key donated a kidney to her daughter, who had a rare autoimmune disease. She's also the LifeNet Hospital Development Coordinator for our region. She says 24 people could have been organ donors at Carillion last year, but only 15 were. Making the decision before you have to can spare your family. If they're not on the registry, we have to approach people when it is the worst day of their life. And that's very hard for them to reason, and it's very hard to make that decision. But that decision means life for people like Bethany. If you can help somebody once you're gone, why wouldn't you? If you live in Virginia, you can register to be a donor through the DMV when getting or renewing your driver's license or ID card, or you can do it online. We put that link along with some frequently asked questions and answers on WSLS.com and the 10 News mobile app. Jenna Zibton, 10 News, working for you.